My name is Bruce Keogh, I'm the NHS Medical Director and a heart surgeon by background. You know, in the 1970s when I was a medical student, we were taught about what's called deep vein thrombosis, which is clots that occur in the leg when people are admitted to hospital, particularly when they're having surgery, which may break away from the leg and get tangled up in the heart or the lungs, causing people to die. And even if they don't cause people to die, they can cause subsequent problems with swollen legs and, and ulcers. So it's a significant issue. If we fast forward now, I found myself medical director of the NHS and I came along in 2009 to a meeting of the all-party parliamentary group on thrombosis to be presented with the most shocking evidence really that in our health service about 38,000, 40,000 people a year die from deep vein thrombosis and of those about 70% are preventable which means that each year about 25,000 people are dying needlessly in our national health service. And for me, the issue was why, over the 30 years since I had been a medical student, had this problem not been sorted out? And I was challenged by um, the president of the Royal College, the Royal College of Surgeons, in fact, who said to me, we've known this has been going on. Why don't you, as medical director, mandate the prevention of this? Make us do what we know we have to do. And that perturbed me. It made me think, what kind of NHS have we created where people have to ask to be told what to do when they know what to do? So when I was presented with this information, I was horrified, actually, that we hadn't been able to solve this problem over the course of three decades. So. I went away and worked with clinical colleagues, and managerial colleagues, and we came up with a number of solutions. Some of those were around the professions leading on what needed to be done, and others were around the managers in the NHS putting the right kind of incentives and into the system to make sure that people did the right things. And we had to put uh, data collection um, into the NHS as well so that we could have an accurate measure of what was going on and then be able to look and see what impact our interventions were having. And we started that process with the NHS operating framework which is the document which sets the priorities for the NHS. And that came into effect only 51 weeks ago. And in the last 51 weeks, I think we've made staggering progress in terms of mobilizing people who work for the NHS, in terms of raising awareness with the, the public as to the, the nature and magnitude of the problem. And I think we're really starting to get on top of things now. In the words of Winston Churchill, we're nowhere near the end. This is not even the beginning of the end. This is simply the end of the beginning. So we need your help, everybody's help, the public, clinicians, policy makers, parliamentarians, to help us uh, tackle this so that we can save a lot of lives of the citizens of this country. Thanks very much.